Hey guys, in this how-to video, we're going to be replacing a magazine spring on your cordless batten stapler and you can also do this on your post stapler as well. You'll need a replacement spring, 3mm Allen key, 4mm Allen key and a 5mm Allen key too. And also if you have a cleaning kit, you will have a 10mm ring spanner. First of all, we want to put on necessary PPE. Next, we want to take out all the fastenings from the tool and battery as well as gas. Next, we're going to undo the nuts, both nuts on both sides of the bolt. Hold your hand underneath and catch them. So put them in your lid and now undo this one here. Repeat method on the other side. Next, we're going to undo both these ones here. This one, the big one, is a 5mm, and this one here is a 3mm. Like so. Next, now we're going to take the magazine away from the body. First of all, we'll make sure that the belt hook's out of the way. Like so, let's just pop off. Now we're going to take this cover away from this magazine by undoing these two here. Next, now that these screws are out, we can now pull away from there. and just be wary that there is a spring underneath there. Next, we'll be undoing these two here. Now we're just gonna be careful. We're gonna put our finger on this pin here and just Take that away from there, from the magazine. Now you can take it off like that. Just make sure that you do not lose this pin. If you have a spring that's damaged like this, instead of trying to pull it out this way, you just slide it up. Then it should be like that. Just make sure that you push it out, like so. Awesome, now that we have our magazine in parts, now's a good time to clean any dirt or grime or muck that's been left on both. If you still have the spring in there, make sure that you take it out so you don't lose it and put it in the case. Now we can spray. And clean that up nicely. Do not, do not use oil on your magazine. You want to keep it as dry as possible so you, your fastenings can keep sliding up. Now that my parts are all nice and clean after I've cleaned them, I have my new spring here. First of all, I'm going to grab my pin, place it through the spring eyelet, place it onto my magazine, now I'm gonna bring my magazine up and hold it on a slight angle. And slide over like so. Now the spring is activated. Just gonna be careful. Slide it down, grab onto the pin, pushing, pushing down with my finger. I'm going to the hook to sit in the groove of the pin. Boom. Top. Turn it around. And just put those in hand tight for now. And go along and tighten up with the allen key. Next, now that these 
screws are done up nice and tight. We're going to place the cover back to the magazine. First of all, we want to put our spring back inside. Close them up. Now you want to grab it from here. Lift up your magazine. What we're going to do is we're going to put, there's a little eyelet just in here. I'm going to put that through the hole and then back around to line up. Same again, hand tight. Line them down and we're going to screw up these two nice and tight. Awesome, now we're going to join the magazine back to the body of the gun. Making sure that the belt hook's out of the way. Place this, like so, lining up with the top and the bottom. Now we're going to place these screws back in. 5mm. And 3mm. Final step, assembling the bolts on the nose. Awesome, now that we've replaced the spring, uh, fasten should be sliding up there without interruption now. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, but most of all found it, found it helpful. Cheers.